favorite, favorite games? Baseball. Yeah? All that? Are you, are you very good at, at baseball? Good. Oh, hi. Good to see you. And uh, welcome to Sesame Street. I'm glad you're here because I want you to meet someone. This is my friend, TJ. Now, TJ is deaf. That means he can't hear anything. In fact, TJ can't even hear what I'm saying right now. But he can see what I'm saying when I talk with my hands. Right? And talking with your hands is called signing. Right? Oh, hi, Elmo. Oh, hi, Bob. Oh, listen, Bye, Elmo. I, I, oh, wait a minute, Elmo. Come here. Come on huh? back. Hey, listen, don't, don't you want to stop for a minute? I want you to say hello to my friend TJ. Oh. Don't you want to say hello? Oh, oh yes. Uh, Elmo wants to say hello oh. to TJ, but Good. if TJ can't hear what Elmo say, then Elmo can't say hello. Unless... Unless what, Elmo? Well, unless Bob teach Elmo hello sign. That's what I thought. Of course I'll teach you the sign oh, for good. hello. It's very simple. Good, good, good. All you have to do is make your hand go like this and say, hello. Hello. Like this? Yeah, try it. Hello. Oh, that's good, Elmo. Oh. That's terrific. Try it. Oh, good. Try okay. It. Try it with TJ. Hello. Hello. Look! Terrific, he, Elmo! He do do oh, it again. Okay, okay. Hello. 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 I think Hello. this could Hello. be the beginning Hello. of a Hello. beautiful Hello. friendship. Hello. 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 take you to the stage of the Nestropolitan Opera House for the debut performance of the great flamenco opera, Peligro. Peligro means danger in Spanish. And as the curtain rises, we find Placido Flamingo telling the villagers to watch out for Peligro. 
And as you will see, where there's Placido, there's Peligro. Let's watch. <laughs> Peligro means danger and to beware. Use your eyes and your ears. Pay attention and take care. When we see a sign that says Peligro, it means danger may be lurking. Where do we go? On a dark star at midnight, that's Peligro. That's danger. And don't play with sharks, their bites worse than their bucks. And stay out of active volcanoes. Peligro. Watch out for Peligro, and you will see how happy, how happy, how happy, how happy, how happy and see. Placido Flamingo is not only the greatest flamingo opera star, he's also the most dangerous. We'll return to the next act of Peligro in several weeks when all the damage to the set has been repaired. In the meantime, this is Phil Harmonic saying so long for Live from the Nest. My name is Frances Ferry. I'm from the land of Forp. Everyone there loves the letter F, because the letter F is fun. <laughs> the letter F can go fast. <coughs> and it can be fat. <laughs> it can be furry. Or it can be flat. Or it can have flowers. Feathers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or even fruit. Or an F can fade away. And so can a fairy. Farewell. Hi there, Bert. Oh, hi, Ernie. Hey, Bert, you want to play a game? Mm, no, I'm, I'm reading right now, Ernie. Hmm. Well, you, you don't want to read all afternoon, do you, Bert? Yeah. But, uh... I know reading is good for you. Reading is great, and reading is a lot of fun and all that sort of thing. But, Bert, you need your exercise, too, you know? Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll exercise later. I want to read right now, though. Okay? Okay, Bert. But, uh, incidentally, Bert, you're it. Bert's it. Bert's it. What? You're it, Bert. What, what do you mean I'm it? We well, see, that's the game. I just tagged you, and you're it until you tag somebody else. No, no, I'm not playing a game. I'm reading, Ernie, and I'm not fit. Okay. But Bert is it. <laughs> Ernie, I... I am... I am not... I'm not it. Yes, you I... are, Bert. You're it, Bert. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, Bert. Bert's it! Bert is it! Bert is it. <laughs> Bert's it.
You're it, Bert. Ah, yeah, I got you. I did it. I got you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Honey, I'm going to get you. You can get it. I'm going to get you. You're it, Bert. I'm not it. No, you're not. Okay, all right. You're not going to get me, Bert. I'm going to get you, honey. No, you're not. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you over here now. I'm going to get you. There. Oh, you got me, Bert. Yes, I got you. Very good. You got me. You are it. I am not. You're it. That's right. Yep, I am it, Bert. I am going back to my reading now. Oh, but Bert, wasn't that fun? Yeah. Wasn't yeah. that great to get yeah. all that exercise? Terrific, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't you glad you played that game? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good. Because you're it again, Bert. <laughs> Bert's it. Yes, Elmo? Elmo wants to know something. What's that, Elmo? Well, Bob said TJ is deaf, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But but TJ can run, and then TJ can jump, mm -hmm. and TJ can play ball, and TJ not look different. So how can TJ be deaf? Well, Elmo, the only reason that TJ is different is because he can't hear the way you and I can. That's all. Can hear? Mm -hmm. But what that mean? Well, that means, uh, well, try and imagine, uh -huh. if you can, what it would be like with no sound at all. Okay. I'm going to try. you have a really good imagination. And now you know what it means to be deaf. It yeah. means no sound at all. But Elmo knows another way TJ is different besides being deaf. What's that, Elmo? TJ is different because TJ can catch the ball better than anybody Elmo ever see. <laughs> I think you're right, Elmo. Yeah. Huh. Elmo knows something else, too. What's that? Sesame Street, a very noisy place. <laughs> You're right about that, too, Elmo. Yeah. <laughs> Q. <laughs> I was lying in my bed, I heard the alarm clock ring. The bell woke me up as quick as anything. I sure am glad the bell woke me up that way, cause otherwise I might have stayed asleep all day. Oh, the bells, listen to the bell. It went ring, ring, a ding, it wouldn't leave us alone. The bell made me answer and I said, hello. It was Grandma want to take me to the picture show. Oh, the bells, listen to the bell. Spent the day at school until the final bell. It said the school day was 
is over and the week as well. If that mouth hadn't rung, what were we to do? We might have stayed in school all night and all the weekend too. Oh, the bell. Bell rang. Who could it be? It was Grandma, and she brought a present just for me. If we hadn't heard the doorbell, then how sad for all, because Grandma'd still be standing out there in the hall. Oh, the bell. Listen to the bell. And now, live from Sesame Street, here is Miss Suzanne Farrell taking small steps. Miss Suzanne Farrell taking big steps. And now, Miss Suzanne Farrell having a little lunch. Miss Suzanne Farrell having a big lunch. Brava, brava, brava. And now, how about a little bow? Good night, dear. Good night, Gerald. Good night, Sparky. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. Good night, Sparky. Imagine me, an alligator. Oh, there's an alligator in my room. I don't see an alligator. Well, sure, it's not there now, but when you turn out the light, it's there. Go to sleep, Gerald. It's just your imagination. You need potato. Alligator. Mom! I was looking what at What is it? The alligator. It's back. Go to sleep, Gerald. And you came out for me to munch on. I'm afraid of getting dinner. Would you please become my dinner? Sparky, it was you all the time. What is that singing? Well, nothing, Mom. Just your imagination. Hi, Elmo. Oh, hi, TJ. Hi, TJ. <laughs> Say, what are you doing? Oh, what to play game with Elmo and TJ? Oh, sure. Oh, what good. kind of game do you want to play? 
That's that feeling game. Yeah. Big Bird guess how Elmo and TJ are feeling. Oh, good. Yeah. I love guessing games, and I'm really good at it, too. You know that? Elmo, no, yeah. <laughs> Big Bird ready? I'm ready. Okay, first feeling. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm, let's see. Oh. How are you feeling? Well, I know you're feeling sad. Yes, yes, yes. Big Bird guess. Elmo and TJ feeling sad. Okay, want to try another one? Sure. Ready, ready, TJ? Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, that was easy. I know how you're feeling. <laughs> you're feeling happy. Yeah, 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 happy. <laughs> now try this one. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Angry. You're angry. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. right, Big Bird. Just right, angry right. Okay, one more. One more. Here okay. we go. I'm going to like this one. And TJ, too. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, that one's easy, too. That's love. Yeah, yeah. Love, love, the Big Bird. Good feeling, Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Doggy. Oh, Doggy. yeah. Yeah, Elmo, too. Elmo, too. Yeah. Well, what are you doing now? Oh, guess, Big Bird. How Elmo and TJ feeling now? Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, well, <laughs> let me see. Uh, you pointed um, to the store. Yeah. And uh, pointed to your mouth yeah. and then rubbed your tummy. Uh-huh. Hmm, what kind of feeling would that be? Gee, I don't know. What are you feeling now? Oh, hungry. Elmo and TJ go to store. Point the store and eat food. Eat food and feel full. Oh. See? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, TJ. Bye bye. Bye bye, Big Bird. Bye bye. Okay. Bye, on, TJ. TJ. Let's go to the store. Okay, bye. this way. Gee. <laughs> Come to think of it, I feel hungry too. So I guess I'll. <laughs> bye. One, two, oh, oh, oh. terribly sorry, <laughs> three, four, five, oh, oops, excuse me, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm new at this, six, seven. Seven sweet sopranos on a shaky piano. Seven notes in the score. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. One. Two, three, oops, oh, dear, excuse me. Oh, did I meet you in, no, I didn't. Four, five, six, ah, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Seven. <laughs> Seven singers on the floor.
to sing in the shower. A singing sailor on a stormy sea Or a crooning cowboy on an open plain I can even imagine that I'm singing in the rain That's why I sing Sing in my mud bath uh -huh. As I squish around I put my lovely voice in gear I love to sing La 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 Sing in my mud bath, ah uh -huh. Cause I love the way that my singing sounds in here. Uh -huh. oh, uh -huh. oh. And as I sing, I imagine that this is a swamp, and it's even better than the city thump. The crocodiles are restless, and you hear a screech, and out comes Oscar. The king of muddy beach. That's why I sing la la la. Sing in my bird bath la la la. As the water falls, I just felt it loud and clear. I love to sing la la la. Sing in my bird bath la la la. And I take a bath every time it rains out here. And as I sing, I imagine I'm a surfing ace. I'm riding my surfboard in a surfing race. The waves are getting bigger, I'm about to fall. So I turn into a plane and fly away from it all. That's why I sing, sing in my shirt and walk along. As the water falls, I let my voice ring loud. Bark. Go out and see what it is. A bark? Go on and see. Okay, but it's awful dark out here. I didn't hear any bark. Ouch! What happened? What happened? I heard a bump. Oh, I tripped over that broken chair. That old broken chair? Can't you take that to the dump? Not in the dark, I can't. No, leave me alone. Wait a minute. Did you hear a little tiny bark? No. Sure is dark out here. Well, I thought sure I, I heard a... Bark! Yikes! Can you give me directions to the park? <laughs> Here's a puzzle with seven parts, 
turning into seven hearts. Seven shapes go fluttering by. Seven birds fly in the sky. Seven houses down on the street, dancing to this funky beat. A week is made of seven days, and all together this makes seven ways. Seven things that seven can do. Well, I'm good and rapping. How about you? Seven. Seven. Se seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Said the alligator king to his seven sons, I'm feeling mighty down. Whichever of you can cheer me up will get to wear my crown. His first son brought seven oyster pearls from the bottom of the China Sea. The second gave him seven statues of girls with clocks where their stomachs should be. The third son gave him seven rubies from the sheikdom of down there beneath. The king thought the rubies were cherries and he broke off seven of his teeth. The fourth son tried to cheer him up with seven lemon drops. The king said, I'm sorry, son, since that ruby episode, I just haven't got the chops. The fifth son brought the king perfume in seven fancy silver jars. The king took a whip and he broke out in spots cause it smelled like cheap cigars. The sixth son gave him seven diamond rings to wear upon his toes. The king snagged his foot on the royal red rug and crumpled up his nose. The seventh son of the alligator king was a thoughtful little well. He said, Daddy, appears to me that you could use a little help. Said the alligator king to his seventh son, My son, you win the crown. You didn't bring me diamonds or rubies, but you helped me up when I was down. Take the crown, it's yours, my son. Hope you don't mind the dents. I got it on sale at a discount store. Cost me all of seven cents. Seven. Listen to Gordon try to play his flute. Sounds terrific to me. He's flat most of the time. <laughs> I love it. Oh, no. Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, hi, Oscar. Just going up to see Gordon. Well, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> Why not? Well, you don't want to hear a lot of screaming and yelling, do you, bright eyes? Screaming and yelling? I don't hear any screaming and yelling, Oscar. Well, you will if you go see Gordon. Oscar, what are you talking about? Well, Gordon's up there playing his flute, isn't he? Right. And he's been trying to play that same thing, and he's doing it over and over, yeah, right? Yeah, it sounds like he's having a little trouble with a couple of notes there. Yeah, and you're going up there to help him with it, aren't Sure, you? If, if he asks me to, I'll be glad to help him. Well, he'll, he'll want you to. Then you'll help him, and that's when you're going to hear a lot of screaming and yelling. Oscar, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. If I go up and help Gordon, he's not going to yell and scream at me. He's probably going to thank me the way he always does. So, if you excuse me, I'm just going to go up and see my friend Gordon, okay? Don't say I didn't warn you! Uh, ah, listen to the way it sounds. So discordant, so rotten. Uh, it stopped. Yeah, right. I knew it. Batinsky Bob has got to ruin everything every time. Oh, yuck. That's awful. Hey, cut that out. Turn down that music. I can't stand it. 
I don't have to listen to this. What's all Beautiful hey, what's going on? Sick. Oscar, what's all the what yelling about? Out there? What? I can't even hear myself play. Don't blame me. It's all Bob's fault. I told him he'd hear a lot of screaming and yelling if he went to see you, but did he believe me? No. No, and now I can't stand. I don't want to hear it anymore. Do you want me to call the police? <laughs> Oh, hi, kids. What's happening? We've come to sing around to you. Around? What is around? It's a song that goes round and round. First, we'll sing the whole song through. Come, follow, 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 follow me. Whither shall I follow, follow, follow? Whither shall I follow, follow thee? To the redwood, to the redwood, to the redwood, redwood tree. And now we'll do the round for you. You just listen and watch. Come, follow, 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 follow me. Come, follow, 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 follow me. To the redwood, follow, 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 follow me. To the redwood, follow, 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 to the redwood, follow me. To the redwood, follow, 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 to the redwood, follow, follow me. around. And now it's time to play America's favorite game show, The Triangle is Right. And here's America's favorite game show host, Guy Smiley. Thank you. 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 This is Guy Smiley, America's favorite game show host. And welcome to The Triangle is Right. It's that frantic, funny game show where the answer to every question is a triangle. Yes. So now let's meet our contestants. Here first is Mr. Carl Mercana from Savannah, Montana. Welcome, Carl. Thanks very much, guy. Now, Carl, do you know how to play our game? Sure do, guy. I've been watching it every morning. All right on, Carl. Okay. Now here from Sesame Street, let's meet and greet Miss Prairie Dawn. Hi. Hi, guy. Hi, everybody. Yes, now, Prairie, do you know the rules to our game? Well, yes, I think I do, guy, but... Let me get this straight. You just answer a triangle to every question? That's right, Prairie Dawn. The triangle is right. That is a game? OK, now let's start playing our game. Oh, not much of a game. Now, for the first question, and it's for you, Carl, are you ready? Yep, 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 you bet. Now, there is a shape with three sides. Yep. That's three, one, two, one, three two, sides. Three. Can you tell me what that shape is called? No, uh, uh, is it a triangle? Yes, that's absolutely right. It is a triangle. How about that audience? Huh? Oh, wow. I just guessed. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> this is the whole game. This is a pretty silly game. OK, Prairie Dawn, it's your turn. Now, how do you feel? Are you excited? Well, yeah, I'm a little excited, but but I'm also a little confused. I mean, I just answer a triangle to every single question. You got it, Prairie Dawn. So Ooh. now are you ready for your question? Well, I guess It so. is a picture question. Uh -huh. Here goes, Prairie. Oh. Now look at that shape. Can you tell me what it is called? Well, I mean... It is a triangle, That's but... correct. It is a triangle. That's wonderful. Mm. How about that audience? She got it right. Wonderful. This is wonderful. crazy. Okay, now, Prairie and Carl, are you all ready for the mega question? The, the, huh? Well, the, the what? The mega question. Oh. Yes. I guess so. 
Okay, the mega question is in three parts. Mm -hmm. Now, part one, listen carefully. This is the sound of a certain musical instrument. Okay? Sure. Now, part two, this is what that instrument is shaped like. Would you lower the trial, uh, lower the mystery shape, please? Oh. Now, your third clue, listen carefully, the name of this instrument is the same as its shape. Oh, come on, guys. Now, can either one of you tell me the name of this instrument? Well, but of course, <laughs> it's... Yes, Carl! Dizzy the Circle! Oh, no! I'm sorry, Carl, that is the wrong answer. I don't believe this. Carl, don't you get it? The answer is always the same. Come on, every yeah, question is the same oh, answer, you silly. No. Oh. No. oh, brother, this is really a dumb game. How do I get out of here? Now, Prairie Dawn. Oh. Prairie Dawn. What, Guy? I'm leaving. No, no, wait one what? second, Prairie. What? Can you tell me the name of that instrument? Well, Guy, of course I can tell you the shape of that instrument. Now, for the mega <gasps> question, what is the answer, Prairie Dawn? But, but you're just trying to get me to say a triangle. That's but... it, it's a triangle. Oh, you no. have the grand prize for oh, no. it. I don't want the grand prize. Wonderful. I just want to get out of here. It's an all-expense-paid <laughs> trip to the Bermuda Triangle. I want to get back to Sesame Street. Oh, What should we do with our burrow? He's more stubborn than a horse. What should we do with our burrow? We love our burrow, of course. for a singer for my dance band. You, you know anybody who might be right for the job? <laughs> you have a dance band, Oscar? Yes, I have a dance band. <clears throat> we call ourselves Oscar and the Outta Tuners. <laughs> so I'm looking for a singer to sing with my dance band. Hey, what about you, Bob? I mean, you're, you're a singer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, wouldn't you just love to sing with Oscar and the Outta Tuners, no. huh? Thank you very, very much. I appreciate the thought, Gordon, but, but I think I'll pass on this one, yeah? Okay. Yeah, well, for once I agree with you, Bob. There's no way you could sing grouch music. Are you... You don't know how to sing bad. <laughs> Oscar, are you kidding? 
Bob is a professional singer. He can sing as bad as anyone. What? No, I mean, if you want to. Oh, if I want to. Yeah, if I want to sing. Sure, you could do that. Yeah, I... Don't you? Well, yeah. I, I suppose I'll, I could, Oscar, just I, give him something to sing, and he'll sing it as bad as you like. Well, okay? I don't know. Come on. It's not the, my kind of thing. It's you know? a challenge, though, right? Bob? Uh, a challenge, yes. Right. You can do it. M- mad about you, mad, Oscar? Yeah, you yeah, can. It's an old that. grouch standard. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> I really, really want to do it as yeah, bad as I can. Show him how bad know. you can sing. All right. You're the worm in my apple. You're my hole in my shoe. You're a total yuck. You're my rotten luck. I'm really mad about you. No, 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 no. no. What, what do you mean, no? I thought that was pretty rotten. Yeah, I did too, as a matter of fact. Well, it wasn't rotten enough, but uh, I got an idea. Why don't you sing with him? Why, two of you singing together should sound Me? Well, twice no, as rotten. I, well, yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. You're going to love this song, Gordon. Come on, let, okay. let's try it. Okay, all right. Well, all right why don't we pick right. the tempo? Okay, you ready? Set, set okay. a tempo, okay? okay. One, two. One, two, three, four. You're the worm in my apple. You're the hole in my shoe. You're a total yuck. You're a rotten luck. I'm really mad about you. Uh, 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 uh. Still not rotten enough. What? Well, what not you rotten enough. You gotta try and make it worse. Oh, boy. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. One time more. Come on. Let's you. A one, two, three, four. You're the worm in my apple. You're the hole in my shoe. You're a total yuck. You're not a luck. I'm really mad about you. That's it. That's it. That's the sound I want. You guys are hired, but the next time you do the song, I'd like to hear a little more of Barkley. Barkley? Barkley? You you want us to sing with Barkley? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Oscar. (laughs) I am a professional singer. I have studied music most of my life. I am not going to sing in a trio with a dog. Aw, gee, Bright Eyes, I thought you'd really go for it. I mean, isn't this what you guys call cooperation, huh? You and Gordon and Barkley are cooperating so you can all sound really rotten. I thought you liked this cooperation stuff. Well, yeah, stuff. of course we like cooperation, sure. but I mean, this, well, this is a little different. Well, then quit complaining. I want you back here in 10 minutes to rehearse with the band. In the meantime, get lost. Oh, boy. Well, <laughs> Bob, I don't what are we looks like we're in, in a trio with the dog here. Huh? What do you think we ought to call ourselves? How about uh, the, the wolf and poof? I like it. You like it? I like it. <laughs> All right. The wolf. <laughs> he likes he it, likes too. it yeah. too. He Presenting the further adventures of everybody's favorite hero, the man who is faster than lightning, stronger than steel, smarter than a speeding bullet. It's Super Grover. And I am choo choo. And now, on to our story. Yes, on to our story. Super Grover was flying high over Metro City when he heard the familiar sounds of someone in distress. Oh, no. What is that I hear? The familiar sounds of someone in distress. Never fear, Super Grover is on the way. Oh, my. 
my computer isn't working. Something's wrong. Nothing's happening. Uh-oh, what's that? A bird? A plane? It's Super Grover. My fur hurts. Uh, oh, little girl, hello there. Uh, it is Super Grover to save the day. Oh, do you know anything about computers? Yes, yes, I do. I know that I do not know anything about computers. Oh, well, this is a computer, and Where? it's not working. Where? Right here. Oh, that is cute. When I press the keys... Uh-huh. Nothing happened. Oh, and something should, right, huh? Right, right. Well, have you tried uh, running around in circles and screaming at the top of your lungs? Oh, that won't do any good. Well, it couldn't hurt, could oh. it? Here, I'll try it. That's not ah! working. Not working? No. Well, I know oh. that. I can see. I have super eyes. Um... Of course it is not working. That is silly. That could not fix anything. Right. What I will do to fix your computer, though, is I will hop up and down and yell, Wubba, wubba. Wubba, 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 wubba. Wait a minute. Wubba, 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 Look at this switch. Wubba, wubba. It says on and off. Oh, how silly of me. I forgot to turn on the switch. Backwards. Wubba, 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 wubba. Grover, Super Grover, it's working! It's working! What, 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 what? It's working. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, little girl. I'm so excited. Oh, stand over here, I want to see it. Oh, look Just at turn that. it on with this switch and... Oh, look it's at that! working! Ha! Super Grover has again saved the day. Do not bother to thank me. I must be off. I must be off to save other little boys and girls in distress. Adios! You have a door? Uh, yeah, over there. Thank you. Whoopa, 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 Hi, team. I'm here to tell you about a letter I really love. The letter is F. And you know why I love it? Because it's a letter my favorite sport starts with. You know what it is? Swimming? Swimming? You don't. Do I look like a swimmer? I'm a football player. Football starts with the letter F. This here thing what I'm catching is a football. It's used in a game. The object of the game is to get the ball over the other team's goal line. Before you're tackled. Hi there. You know what's down there in this pond? Tadpoles. Uh -huh. Tadpoles. Baby frogs. Tadpole wiggling in the water. Brand new world is there for you to see. Lots of time till you grow up to be a big frog like me. Tadpole, haven't got to worry. Biggest job is swimming peacefully. Wonder if you know you'll grow to be a big frog like me. Changes happen as time passes by. Soon enough you'll be grown. With a home on a lily pad And some tadpoles of your own Oh, little tadpole Wiggling in the water Far from all responsibility Take your time till you grow up to be A big frog like me Tadpole, take your time to be a big green grown-up frog 
like me. Oscar, aren't you going to introduce us to the band? What for? Well, I think we'd like to know who we're singing yeah, with, right, sure. Oscar? Okay, okay. <clears throat> First, you got Fluffy the Elephant on trumpet. <coughs> Next, there's Slimy the Worm on drums. <laughs> and last is the ever-popular Forty Flying Flea Brothers on keyboard. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Let's get to work. Let's start with a little number I think you all know. Yeah, I think uh, we know yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. I've heard right. this one. Sure. Okay. You ready, fellas? Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Anytime, Oscar. A one and a two. You're the leader. Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters F and Q and by the number seven. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. Keep going, boys. You sound 